Grade 8 math number 5.2c, write an equation from a table, find the y-intercept b, some more examples. So this is a continuation of 5.2b, and it's just more examples for those of you who need a little extra help. So we can use the information from a table to write an equation in slope-intercept form, and we can find the y-intercept b by choosing an ordered pair from the table and multiplying the slope by the x value of that pair. When we isolate the b to one side of the equal sign, it will equal the y value from our chosen order, ordered pair. And we'll have our equation. So I'm going to give you two examples, OK? In the first one, our table is laying horizontally this way. And in our other example, it's going vertical that way, OK? So here's our first one. Here's our table of values. You can see our x and our y. We choose any two ordered pairs from the table to use to find the slope. So I chose this one and this one. So this is going to be like 0.1 and this will be 0.2, OK? So that'll be our x1, y1, and x2, y2, OK? So we write them down. x1, y1 is 11, 6, and x2, y2 is 13, 8. And we need to do that because we're going to put them in to the slope formula, where we need to have the y2 and x2 values on this side, and we're going to subtract the y1 and x1 values from them, OK? So here it is again, same thing as up there. And we're going to use the slope formula to find the slope. So we have our y2 minus y1, so that would be 8 minus 6. See, y2 minus y1. 8 minus 6 is 2. Then we have x2 minus x1. That would be 13 minus 11. 13 minus 11 is 2. Well, 2 over 2 is 1, so we know our slope is 1. Now we find the y-intercept b by using that slope 1 and any xy point from that table. So we can choose any one we want, OK? So I decided to go with the 15 and the 10 because I figured 10 is easy to multiply by. So I'm going to use the 15 and the 10 and plug them in to this slope-intercept form of the equation. So we know the slope is 1, so I'm going to put that in the place of the m. And I'm using 15 for the x and 10 for the y. So I'm going to put 15 where the x goes and the 10 where the y is, see? We still don't know what b is. That's what we're trying to find. That's why we're doing all of this. So now we've got 1 times 15. So I multiply 1 times 15, and I get 15. So now, right here in our equation, we have 10 equals 15 plus b. See? Now all I have to do, because this is a positive 15, is subtract 15 from each side of the equal sign. And I'll be able to isolate that b and find out what its value is. So I take 15 from 10, and I get a negative 5. And I have a positive 15 take away negative 15. That creates a zero pair, doesn't it? So these cancel each other out. And now the b drops down, and I've got our y-intercept b is a negative 5. See, we found it. Now I put that in the place for b. I put the 1, which is our slope, in the place of the purple m, see? And our equation is y equals 1x minus 5, see? because we figured out that the b was a minus 5. See? All right, let's do it one more time. Now our table is going vertically, and these are our x values, these are our y values. So we're going to choose any two ordered pairs from the table to use to find the slope. So I chose this as 0.1, and this is 0.2. So that's going to be our x1, y1, and this is going to be our x2, y2 for the slope formula. OK? So here's our x1, y1, 0, 3. And our x2, y2 is 2, 6, OK? So we use the slope formula to find the slope. And we have to have y2 take away y1. So y2 is 6, y1 is 3, so we got 6 take away 3. That's a 3. Now we have to do x2 take away x1. And that's 2 take away 0. 2 take away 0 is 2. So we know our slope is 3 over 2. And if I simplified that, it would be 1 and a half, right, or 1.5. So now we need to find that y-intercept b by using this slope and any two uh, numbers, any xy pair from this table, OK? So I chose the 2 and the 6, because I figured 2 is easy to multiply by, right? So x is 2, y is 6. And I plug that into our slope-intercept form of an equation, 
with our 1.5 slope. So here's our x2 and our y6 all plugged into the equation, okay? And I color coordinate so you can see it. And I multiply these two together. And 1.5 times 2 is a 3. So now we know this is 3, right? So I've got 6 equals 3 plus b. 6 equals 3 plus b. So because this is a positive 3, I'm going to subtract 3 from each side of the equal sign to isolate b to one side. 6 take away 3 is 3, and positive 3 take away negative 3 makes a zero pair, so this cancels each other out, and we know that our y-intercept b is a 3. Now what we have to do is take our 1.5 for our slope and our 3 for our y-intercept and plug them in with x and y variables, and we've got our equation. So we've got y equals 1.5x plus 3. See? Now you should be a pro after doing this, right? From the video 5.2b in this video, you should really, really know how to find the equation from a table now, right? And find the y-intercept. All right, we're going to move on to 5.3. And I want to remind you that I'm on Twitter. And I can answer questions or help you out there. And I want to remind you that I'm on Patreon.com. And even though I've got hundreds and hundreds of math videos on YouTube, they're all ad-free. And if you'd like to become a monthly patron, I'd really appreciate it. And I could really use the help. See you next video. Bye.